Howdy, viewers, Brad Prider, Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video involving hunting. And this is, I completed everything except for the reinforced equipment for the trapper. And the reason I didn't do the reinforced equipment is it's related to doing the challenges like Master Hunter Challenge, uh, Herbalist Challenge, etc. And those, you don't have to hunt anything for that equipment. You have to just complete the challenges and then you can buy the reinforced equipment. Whereas the garment sets, the um, clothing, and the saddles, you have to go out and hunt. And you got to hunt like 144 different pelts and skins and 84 different feathers. It, it's crazy. I mean, you got to find all this stuff throughout the entire game. And some of it you can't find until you play John. And yeah, it can be extremely long tedious i mean you have to for a hat get 10 perfect rat pelts and at the end of this video i'll show you a great place to go hunt some rats that might help you out but they have to be three star rats yeah and then you also have to have 10 snakes for a saddle and they all have to be perfect perfect snake skins and that can be difficult. But I did it. I completed all of the trapper equipment, garments, saddles. And yeah, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, now that John's standing in a bucket, I decided to sell the trapper last skins. And the perfect armadillo skins. And... The other stuff that I'm selling, I gathered up, I really don't need. But the next is the, after the pork, which came from the pigs, the perfect collared carry skins. And now I'll show you the garment sets. The one that I'm going to buy is for, I'm going to go to the clothing. And the last... I did all the hats here, all of them. Now I'm going to go to the vests are done. The chaps are bought, but the moccasins are where I need the two perfect collared to carry pig pelts. And I bought those, the boots. And there you go. That's it for those. That's it for the uh, clothing. Now, the saddles, I'll show you those. I The rattlesnake uh, saddle through the panther trail saddle. Use the panther trail saddle. It is the best saddle. Now, go to the garment sets. Showed you all the clothing again. Boom, boom, boom. They're all done. Now, the garment set. And the last set I need is the Desperado. And I needed two perfect armadillo pelts for the billy vest. And I also needed a perfect goat hide. That's very easy to get. But the armadillo pelts were the two hardest to get. And I just got those. I showed you. I'll show you a perfect place. But as you can see... I have all the sets complete. And again, I'll show you where to hunt a perfect armadillo. And then you run around and run around. And yeah, like I said, here you have it. The trophy buck set, the dream catcher set. Everything is complete. All these, every little thing I hunted, all the little accoutrements for feathers and whatever, yeah, as you can see, and the death roll was the hard part. Because you also need not only to hunt legendary animals, but regular animals as well. 
and the death roll actually has the most legendary animals. And yeah, like I'm showing you right now, everything is complete. I hunted and hunted everything. And at the end of this video, not only will I show you to where to hunt a perfect armadillo, and if you get one, you run back around, you hang around for a few hours, leave the area for a little bit, come back, you'll get another perfect armadillo. There you go. Everything is complete. And it's all that hunting. And like you said, the reinforced equipment, you don't need to go hunting. You just need to complete the challenges. And now I'm going to go back to Beecher's Hope somewhere. And, well, actually finish up the game missions. I've been putting off the final game missions in order to do this hunting. So again, I'm done. I've completed it. Was it worth it? It bought more depth to the game in some ways. I mean, really the detail and everything and hunting and trying to find each animal and gain the hunting skills and abilities. Yeah, in a way it's worth it because it bought more depth. Made the game a little more interesting and challenging. And sometimes frustrating because, yeah, I couldn't find perfect armadillo pelts. Perfect rat pelts were very hard to find, but I got it done. So here is where you can find a perfect armadillo pelt and then a perfect place to hunt perfect rats. This place was where I killed the first perfect armadillo I had managed to find. So I ran away, ran around, and, well, I came back to the area, and what do I find? Uh, armadillo, alive, nine-banded, three-star, right next to the dead body of a former three-star, nine-banded armadillo. So... This leads me to believe this point is actually a real spawning point where if you wait around a little while, go somewhere, run around like I did, you will find the armadillo. And right here on the map, near Oddfellow's Rest and the flying machine, and I, you can see it specifically on the map here. This is where the player is standing, and if you zoom out, it's Kala Springs, and then above the A in New Austin, like I said, near Oddfellow's Rest, and near the Flying Machine. You can see the confluence of roads. And yeah, that is where I caught a perfect nine-banded armadillo, and I just ran around the area, hunted other things, Kept the horse where I have the horse on the map here. And again, I just ran around the whole area before I found the perfect armadillo, shot it, and then ran around again and found another one. And it was some gameplay, some minutes of time, etc. But yeah, it's way out in New Austin, out west. And. Yeah, I'm happy to find this area. Now I'm going to show you where to hunt some really good, perfect rats. It's not 100% perfect, but you can hunt rats. The best place to hunt rats is Copperhead Landing. Now, they come out in the evening or at night. To be honest with you, they come out kind of any time. If you leave a dead animal carcass around, Nearby, they will come out and they'll hang around and eat that carcass. But right here, if you go up to Copperhead Landing and you take a look, there are some rats. You can see them glowing. And let's go hunt some rats here.
that is two perfect black rat carcasses and I don't see any more around here but again if you leave a dead body around a dead creature and it rots and decays you'll pull rats out of the house quite frequently now you want to use uh, small game arrows to hunt rats and use your bullseye dead eye sight because you can actually do damage to the rat pelt now if you're hunting possum varmint rifle and again use your dead eye and try and hit it in a vital area least amount of damage to the creature and maximize the pelt and now i'm going to pull up some burcock root or burdock root and get the heck out of here if you found this video informative hit the thumbs up icon feel free to leave uh some comments if you like this type of video hit the subscribe button and bell icon and you'll be informed because i post four video game related videos a week plus some shorts and some specials and you want to stay informed as always i'm brad proprietor barstool entertainment thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and most of all thanks for stopping by